Today I'm going to talk about Parkinson's and disease. speech therapy. Parkinson's disease is a neurological disorder. It's progressive and it causes tremors and muscle stiffness. If you have Parkinson's disease and you want your voice to be louder, stronger with better quality, then listen up because I'm going to give you some home exercises. First thing I'm going to suggest is to find a speech therapist to work with. They're going to be able to provide you with a really intensive program. That will actually make a big difference. Today I'm going to give you a home workout that you can do as well. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is learn appropriate breathing techniques. The breath is, is the energy behind your voice. If you have weak breath support, you're gonna have a weak voice. So, figure out what your diaphragm is. It's right below your lungs. When you breathe in, everything your torso should come out. When you breathe out, it should go in. So, when you're doing the next exercise, I want you to think about that when you're speaking or saying a sound. Way to push in from down here, not up in your throat. The difference between these can sound like this. Ah. And. Ah. The first exercise is what we call a sustained phonation or an. Ah. ah. So, you can do this looking into the mirror, or you can record yourself, which is actually really beneficial. And I want you to open up your mouth nice and big. Because that also big. helps you to be loud. And I want you to say, ah, for as long and loud as you can. Ah. Like that. It's kind of ridiculous and a little embarrassing, but you need to do it. This is a great strengthener. It forces your vocal cords. Stay together in the phonation position and it works the muscle. The next exercise I want you to do, I also want you to do 10 of each. And that is the highest and the lowest pitch. So what you do is you uh, say, like you did before, you start out at your normal pitch, uh, uh, and then you glide to go as high as you can with a nice glide. Uh, as high as you can go, and then the same starting out in mid range and glide as low as you can go. Ah. With Parkinson's disease, because of the stiffening of the muscles, the range of your voice starts to get really narrow, and then you start to sound monotone. So, this is a good exercise to increase that really range. Really push yourself to get super high, and push yourself to get super low. The next thing I wanna teach you has less to do with the vocal volume, and more to do with vocal quality. So, there's how loud you are, and then there's how it sounds. A lot of people with Parkinson's disease will end up with a kind of gravelly voice. That's quiet. It's gravelly like this. So, I want to increase the quality. One way we do that is with relaxation techniques. The first relaxation technique is called a yawn sigh. This is where you pretend to yawn, and you let out a nice easy, natural sigh. <sighs> do that five times. Trying to push from here. Let the breath out naturally to reduce the strain in your throat. The next thing that I want you to work on are phrases that are very expressive. You sign you really need to look in a mirror because with Parkinson's disease, the muscles of the face start to stiffen as well and have decreased range of motion and you won't be expressing your language as much through your face. It's the little things in communication, like our eyebrows raising and our cheeks lifting up, that give a lot of important information. When we don't have this, because the facial muscles are stiffening, it really affects how we communicate with people and how people perceive us. So, stand in front of a mirror, and I will link a list of expressive words and phrases. For example, wow. wow. Someone who first comes to me for therapy will say wow. Wow. When they leave, they'll say wow. Wow. And that's what I want you to do. Really exaggerate the expressions and use your voice too in a big range of pitches. The last thing I want you to do is to come up with a list of 10 phrases and sentences that you say every day. They're usually simple, conversational things like 
thank you for your help. Or you can include names of people that you, that you know and love, like your family members. Now, what I want you to do with these 10 phrases I want you to practice saying them using good strategies. So I want you to use good breath support, loud voice with good quality, opening up your mouth. That's called over articulation. The wider your mouth is, the louder you're gonna be. So say your words. If you stumble, if it sounds gravelly, go back and try it again. Those are my suggestions for a home workout for Parkinson's disease and voice.